Hey folks, this is Mike Antile at Sailfish Solar. Today we're going to talk about a really exciting topic, taxes, and how we file taxes and what we're going to do to be able to take uh, the tax credit for the solar system. To be certain, we are not tax advisors and we do not give tax advice. What I'm going to do is show you if you, are, if you do want to file uh, the form, the 5695 solar form yourself, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of how that would work, uh, assuming that uh, it, everything is straightforward with your project. Uh, as always, we'd recommend you talk to a CPA to make sure you do, are doing your taxes correctly, uh, but I think this should give you a pretty good overview of how to fill out this form. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is determine the total cost of the solar system. So if you if this was a cash job and you paid for cash for the system, then basically you should have received a paid invoice from your solar installer that shows how much you paid them. Um, and that's going to be the total amount that's eligible for the tax credit. If this was a financed job and you finance the solar system, then your finance company will provide you with a document that shows how much you uh, the total loan amount was. Um, and again, everything, that entire loan is going to be eligible for uh, the, the solar tax credit. So a lot of times the loan amount is going to be higher than the actual cash cost. <clears throat> so in this example, we'll say this is a cash job and it was a, a $33,000 loan, right? Whoops. Um, and so uh, right there. And so a $33,000 cash payment or loan is what's going to be the eligible amount. So assuming there's no other property uh, improvements that were made that are eligible, we're going to add those lines together. We bring 33,000 down to here. We're going to take 33,000 and we're going to times that by the federal tax credit, which is 30%. And that'll give you $9,900. So that's the actual amount that is eligible for the tax credit, right? So our, our, we paid 33,000, but we're going to get 9,900 back in the form of a tax credit. Um, we'll click no on that Whoop. and then we'll keep moving here. And so the next line you're going to come down to, you're going to add all these lines together, assuming you don't have fuel cells or anything like that, which we're not going to talk about in this video. Uh, and the, the total amount, the 9,900 comes down to line 13. All right. The next line here. Now this is you, this tax credit form should have been kind of the last thing that you do. The first thing you want to do is figure out how much you actually owe or have paid to the government. You're going to do that using, you know, your regular, uh, your regular tax form, uh, your 1040. Um, and in this one, uh, we've determined that using our 1040, that the total amount of taxes that this person is going to owe is $27,000. So on your 5695 form, that's your limitation on line 14 right there. That's how much you actually owe in this particular year. Now, this number was less. If $2,700 was less than the $9,900 tax credit, then we can basically take as much as we can this year, right? And then the rest would carry forward to the following year. So if you only had $4,500 in tax liability, in, in the year 2023, which is when we're making this video, then 4,500 is the most you could take, and this would be 4,500, and we would carry the other uh, uh, 54 over to the next year, right? So that's what this carry forward line is. Now, in this scenario, they're able to take the entire tax credit. So we add all that up, and we're going to move that over to our 1040. The way that we move it over our 1040 is with the Schedule 3. And the Schedule 3, if you haven't done this before, this is all your different tax credits. So every, or all the different credits that you could take throughout the course of a year. So you yourself personally or your accountant, you know, is very familiar with this form. Uh, your mortgage uh, interest and you know, electric vehicle credits and, you know, uh, education, nonprofits, you know, everything that you've had a chance to take a credit for throughout the course of the year. And right here uh, on line number five, and this is schedule three of your 1040, is our $9,900. So if there's nothing else we've taken this year, and, and for almost everyone there, this is going to be filled with stuff. Um, we're going to take that $9,900, and now we can transfer that over to the 1040, um, you know, which is kind of your final, your, your, your master form, if you will, that, that will show what you owe or what you've, um, you know, what you need to pay or what you have paid. And then right here, Line 20 of your uh, 1040 is where we're going to import that $9,900. And then all the rest, you know, we fill all this in and this just goes right into your regular taxes. But that is a $9,900 credit and that's where it pays. All things being equal, if you had no other credits to take whatsoever, 
then we would basically say the 2700 minus the 9900 and we would fill in this spot right here which is the total tax that you owe so 27000 minus 990 is 17100 so your tax liability from 27000 uh, down to 17100 because of that 9900 hour tax credit so in a nutshell, that's how this is going to work. So again, step one is we want to figure out what our total liability is in a given year, right? Whether how much taxes we owe or how many taxes we paid. Step two is we're going to fill out the 5695 form using the total cost of the solar minus the 30%. Uh, assuming that we have the tax liability to take, we're going to put it, um, or we're going to take it off right here. Uh, and assuming that we don't have the tax liability in a particular year, then we have the ability to actually carry forward, or excuse me, carry forward to the next year. We take this total amount, line 15, we're going to take it over to our Schedule 3. We're going to pop it into the Schedule 3, and we're going to show that the 9900 is how much we're actually paying, on, or excuse me, we're receiving on the 1040. And then right here is your total tax amount. So in a nutshell, that's how these forms work. Again, we are not tax advisors. We do not give tax advice. Um, but this is something that hopefully should be able to walk you through how this form works. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much for stopping by.